Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to 15 Minutes in the Word with me, Dr. D. We will continue our reading in the book of Luke, beginning in chapter 13. But before we get started, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you and praise you so much, Father, for your mercy, your grace, your love, your peace, and your joy. God, we have so much to thank you for. We thank you for your word, Father God. We pray that as I read your word, Father God, that... Uh, people would hear your word and adhere to your word, God, that your word would fall like seeds in the depths of their heart, Father God, bringing forth fruit that shall remain. Now, God, I pray that souls would be saved, minds would be changed, hearts would be turned towards you, and every listener who hear these words, Father, would have a greater hunger and a greater thirst after you. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. If you have your Bibles today, why don't you turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 13 and the word of God says there were present at the season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mangled with their sacrifices and Jesus answering said unto them suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things I tell you no but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Or those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think you that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that you shall cut it down. Um, and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, You hypocrite! Do not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound these four, 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then said he, Unto what is this kingdom of God like, and whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journaling, journaling to, toward Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. 
For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and hath shut to the door, and ye began to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill you. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets and stone them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen do gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time Come when you shall say, Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. I'm reading from the book of Luke chapter 14. And it came to pass as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsies. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go. And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit? and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden when he marked how they closed, how they chose out the chief room saying, how they choose out the chief room saying unto them, when thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest rooms, lest a more honorable man than you be bidden of him. And he that bade thee in him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when you are bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee come, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher, then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit meet with thee. For whosoever exalt himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Then said he also to him that bade him, When you make a dinner or a supper, Call not uh, thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when you make a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just." And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, 
Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man had a great supper and bed many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of his house, um, his Lord, so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly unto the streets and, uh, and, lane, and lanes of the city. Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the haught and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bitten shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father or mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever do not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower sit not down first and count the cost, whether he have suffered to finish it? Least happily after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sit not down first and consult whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he send an ambassage and desire conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. That concludes my reading for this evening. I hope you enjoyed listening to the word as much as I enjoyed reading it. Well, until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. And remember, God loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son here to die on the cross so that we would have life and have it more abundantly. Have a great life, an abundant life today and make sure you keep him first and foremost in your mind. God bless you, and may the Lord keep you, and be safe out there. Amen.